said that he couldn't uh, feel his legs, and so I knew right away that something, something was wrong. So me and my family, we grew up in the San Bernardino Mountains. When I first got on skis, I was about four or five. I really wanted to start snowboarding and I actually got on the snowboard, I was probably 13. The jump just to do a backside 180, offset hand tail grab, and I just went off weird. Brett's injury was a, a fracture of the L3 vertebrae, or one of the bones in the back. They took him to surgery pretty quickly. Um, the idea with surgery is to take the pressure off the spinal cord and give it the best chance of, of recovery possible. Everyone here is super about family and support, and his room, he had an extra bed, and so they allowed me to sleep in the room with him, which was awesome. Brett's attitude during physical therapy was very motivated all the time. My involvement with Brett was kind of checking in on him and helping make a lot of decisions that he had questions about. So showing up just randomly at the rehab hospital and seeing him work out, checking in with him at his room, those are all things that I think, you know, I can provide to these individuals because I did this exact same path. I was in Renown ICU and from Renown ICU, I came to Renown Rehab. Every time he came in, he'd always have a smile on his face, so that would just automatically, when you see someone else smile, you usually smile. By knowing him, that he's already been through it, and by knowing that he came through it and came through it strong, and then him just telling me that I can do it, I just gotta set my mind to it, just really tells me to do it. One day I walked around the corner and there he is taking steps on the treadmill and I'm like, what are you doing? It blew me out of the water. So he had an incredible recovery. I cried. <laughs> Happy tears. It was amazing to see him um, walk for the first time. Instead of sitting in a room saying, oh, why did this happen? Like, you're just, you're with family. Well, because rehab's done best close to home, and we're located in a community and near an uh, area where mountain sports are occurring and these injuries like Brett's are likely to happen. So our goal is to provide industry-leading comprehensive spinal cord rehabilitation for our patients so they can recover close to home with their support system and family around them. Awesome. Later, Roy. He has that mentality of, there's no way in hell I'm going to sit here for the rest of my life and do nothing. Doing stuff is definitely a big part of my life and being active. Snowboarding is one of those ones farther down the road because I know it's, I'm going to need a lot of strength for it. Definitely, I'm going to do again.